Yeah, I'll react to that, sure. I had the sniffles. Okay, it's been a while. Well, it's been a few days, but feels like a while for me. Hope you guys are all doing well. The link to the original video, top of the description, top mo top mo top mojo. Watch mojo. Top ten. Dinosaurs found in Britain. Great, we're keeping it. The intro. Oh god. Jurassic Park one was a masterpiece. The, all, all the rest are not needed. Isn't, wasn't she the bad guy? Welcome to Watch Mojo UK, and today we'll be counting down our picks for the top 10 dinosaurs found in Britain. That is not what I was expecting from T Rex's great great grandfather. I find all these, the, I get the point, the concept, but the, uh, the, the, the seed, the animal documentary style of, of, you know, with dinosaurs. Actually, I loved walking with prehistoric beasts. What am I talking about? I loved that little thing as a kid. It was, it was like a show, but back in time. Anyways. It must be about a quarter of the size. This is not only the very first substantial stegosaur to be found in Britain, but the very first substantial stegosaur to be found in the world. Megalosaurus was the largest theropod or meat-eating dinosaur of its time. Before we begin, we publish new content every day, so be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You guys think an elephant could take that thing? Like a full-grown male elephant? For this list, we're going to be looking over the dinosaurs whose remains have been discovered in what is today the United Kingdom. If there are any British dinos that weren't dug up for our list, please let us know in the comments. Number 10. I think Brontosaurus was my favorite one. Is that right? It was a long neck dinosaur. It was it was like a thick one too. Thick boy. And it had a like a crest on top of its head. I don't know. I had a bunch of toys when I was a kid, and that was my favorite. Skeletosaurus. Skeletosaurus lived during the early Jurassic period. Southern Britain would have looked very different from how it does today. The UK was closer to the equator and made up of a series of small islands. The weather was hot and unpredictable, with powerful storms and flash floods. A herbivore that may have walked on four or two legs, it was around 13 feet long and three feet high. Its most distinguishing feature was its armor, in the form of bony deposits found in rows on its body. Skeletosaurus was closely related. A very handsome looking uh, uh, fossil there. I don't know, it looks like it's smirking. Deposits found in rows on its body. Skeletosaurus was closely related to other members of the group of armored dinosaurs, which included species like Stegosaurus and Ankylosaurus. In fact, it's among the most primitive of this group yet discovered. Having one of the earliest and most complete fossil remains, Skeletosaurus was first discovered in the 1850s in Dorset, England. It's also one of the only dinosaurs to be discovered in Northern Ireland, or all of Ireland for that matter. Number 9. Proceratosaurus That is not what I was expecting from T-Rex's great-great-grandfather. It must be about a quarter of the size. Found in 1910 in Gloucestershire, Proceratosaurus roamed England during the mid-Jurassic period. A small theropod, or two-legged carnivore dinosaur with a crest on its snout. Proceratosaurus was originally thought to be related to Ceratosaurus, hence its name. This was due to the similarity between the crests on their noses. However, confusingly, it's actually more closely related to Tyrannosaurus than Ceratosaurus. Much about it remains speculative though, since it's only known from a partial skull fragment. Any reconstructions you might see of it are probably the best guess of paleontologists and or artists. No Do they make T-Rex and other dinosaurs bigger in movies like Jurassic Park? Because maybe it's just because I was smaller. No, but I feel like the T-Rex isn't that big, is it? it uh, weight of T-Rex. Yeah, 1,100 to 15,500 pounds. I know for a fact elephants get heavier than that sometimes. African elephant weight. 
Oh, wait, 13,000 pounds. What's the biggest one? 24,000 pounds. Okay, so they're about the same weight, um, but can get heavier. So yeah, it's not like a T-Rex versus a adult elephant would be that far from a, a, a good fight, right? Number eight, Polacanthus. Another armored dinosaur with large spikes. This ankylosaurid dinosaur was 16 feet long and weighed several tons, but would probably only come up to your waist. Native to the Cretaceous period, Polacanthus was first discovered in 1865 on the Isle of Wight. Although numerous other potential specimens have been discovered there and elsewhere in Britain, the first find is the only one to be definitively identified with the species. Due to the scarcity of fossils, some of its features, especially what its head looked like, are more extrapolations than facts. Number 7. Neovenator Although its name may sound like some sort of drug or complicated piece of medical equipment, Neovenator actually means new hunter. Living during the early Cretaceous period, Neovenator was an allosauride dinosaur and one of the top predators of its time. Unusually, it had powerful sensory organs in its snout, similar to those found in modern-day reptiles like crocodiles, which they use to find prey in water. This is an animal with fairly long uh, arms, big three-clawed hands. It has a narrow, very deep skull, numerous large serrated teeth. It's a giant predator that's going to be grabbing things with its hands before moving in and making numerous horrible slashing bites. However, unlike crocs, Neovenator's fossils were first discovered in 1978 in another find on the Isle of Wight. Number 6. Dasentrurus Originally discovered close to Swindon, England in 1875, Dasentrurus was first called Omosaurus, though it was later renamed due to the name already being in use for an extinct crocodile. This is not only the very first substantial stegosaur to be found in Britain, but the very first substantial stegosaur to be found in the world. Dasentrurus was a stegosaur from the latter Jurassic period, complete with the dinosaur's characteristic plate ridges and spiked tails. In addition to the specimen in Swindon, Dasentrurus has also been found in Wiltshire and Dorset, as well as in mainland Europe, in France, Portugal, and Spain. Guys, I get how longer spikes on the tail would make it so that, you know, it's it, a predator is more likely to be wary of attacking you, and if it does, probably going to inflict more damage and not get killed and therefore reproduce, pass on genes. But that makes sense. But how do you start? Like, th that'll make sense to me. This, this is where evolution confuses me, because that'll make sense to me. But how did it... Like, are you saying that there just weren't spikes on an ancestor of this animal uh, far back, you know, hundreds of thousands or millions of years, uh, however long it took the spikes to be a feature like did it just have like a slightly harder tail and then some species of it had like little knobby uh spike protrusions like how does that form i don't get it i and it's one of the most frustrating things i find evolution fascinating it's just how does it begin like how does the Okay, spikes are easier. It's not like you get to go to an equip screen and be like, ooh, spikes onto the tail. It's like there had to have been a starting point where a slight little bony protrusion from the tail happened to kill predators more easily or help with, with mates. Oh, that could... Yeah, so I get how it'll favor a longer, stronger, spikier tail, but how the spike starts on the tail is what confuses me so yeah even with the number of finds a complete skeleton has not yet been found though it's estimated to have been around 33 feet long and weighed up to five tons number five eotyrannus Another Isle of Wight find, Eotyrannus, was a small theropod dinosaur from the early Cretaceous. The 
discovered in 1995, Eo Tyrannus would remain unnamed for five years until 2000. As its name, which means Dawn Tyrant, suggests, Eo Tyrannus is a primitive tyrannosaur being related to the dinosaurs that would eventually evolve into Tyrannosaurus rex. Unlike its famous rex relative, though, Eo Tyrannus has long forelimbs and three fingers. It was also much shorter and around 15 feet long. We've no doubt that it was a fearsome predator for its time and environment, though, and it certainly paved the way for even more impressive dinos. Number 4. Hypsilophodon A dinosaur known entirely from Isle of Wight specimens, big shocker. Hypsilophodon was an animal about whom scientists had many misconceptions. First found in 1849, this dinosaur was first believed to have been armored. Then they believed that it climbed trees, likely due to its opposable digits. However, Hypsilophodon was actually a small, agile runner, moving about on two legs quickly to avoid predators. Although it may have been omnivorous, its primary diet likely consisted of plants and possibly seeds. Its nimble nature and diet have led some to compare it to deer. I mean, we'd watch that version of Bambi. Number 3. Baryonyx First discovered in Surrey, England, baryonyx fossils have also been found in other parts of the UK and Iberia. A theropod dinosaur, baryonyx is in the same family as Spinosaurus and had the same crocodilian-like head and narrow teeth. Baryonyx was a two-ton terminator, always on the lookout for its next meal. Its name, however, derives from its claws, or at least one of them. Its first finger had a large claw, earning it the name Heavy Claw. Baryonyx also has the honor of being the first theropod dinosaur confirmed to eat fish, and it's thought to have specialized in hunting them. Although the See. remains of dinosaurs in some specimens' stomachs indicates it could have also scavenged or hunted prey on land as well. So I, I, I know it's not just offending predators that, that make certain things, features, uh, into you know stick with a certain species and that feature that feature gets accentuated and bigger you know it can be mating you know sexual preference by the female or male or or um you know getting food in an area and, and so i can see easily a how reptiles uh, uh um marine reptiles and marine mammals have uh evolved or have evolved through you know they're good, they, they eat fish, they go near it while they're, instead of competing with a lot of them in the more shallow waters, there's a lot of food in the, in the less shallow water, and you can, the ones that, that can get there more easily will get the food, and so you'll be more agile in the water, and eventually you might just forego your land capability altogether. That makes complete sense. So, it's just... Yeah, how it's some features start, I guess. Those heavy question. claws would certainly have come in handy for that. This powerful predator used its enormous razor-sharp claws to sweep fish from the water. From the Thomas River, which means it's going to be dead in like two days. The Thames. The Thames. I know. I say Thomas as a joke. Voice crack. I deserve it. <laughs> I say it as a joke, and then sometimes I legitimately say it, like Thomas. Number two, Sorry, Megalosaurus. Megalosaurus was the largest theropod or meat-eating dinosaur of its time. The first dinosaur to ever be formally named, Megalosaurus, was first discovered as early as 1676, though it wouldn't be identified or named until 1824. Because of its early discovery, paleontologists had a number of misconceptions about its appearance, first suggesting it walked on four legs. However, like most theropods, Megalosaurus walked on two legs. Despite having been studied for 200 years, a complete skeleton has yet to be found. Our current understanding of its proportions is mostly derived from studying dinosaurs from the same family. 
Still, the study of dinosaurs owes a lot to this Jurassic predator. Megalosaurus, the first dinosaur to be discovered in the world, and it lived right here in Oxford, 167 million years ago. Ooh. Oh, 167. I was thinking 67. I was going to say it, 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 you know, probably died out. Number one, Never mind. Iguanodon. Iguanodon may have been the second dinosaur to ever be named, but it's number one in our books. One reason Iguanodon are so successful is that they have developed a new way of tackling Cretaceous plants. Most dinosaurs can only crudely slice food with their teeth, but Iguanodon are the first herbivores to have back teeth that can grind up Molars. vegetation before swallowing. I always saw this dinosaur, like the common like dinosaurs you like get in as a kid was like the Triceratops, T-Rex, some of the big long neck dinosaurs, and then this one, which just seemed like the Iguanodon is like your standard, like it, it makes me think of like the deer or, or like in Africa, like the, like the wildebeest or the antelope. It's just like that basic cornerstone Thing that I'm sure a lot of predators like to eat. Found in Sussex, England in 1822, Iguanodon was bestowed a name in 1825. Like many early dinos, the Iguanodon's physiology was not well understood, and the early, inaccurate attempts at reconstructing its appearance are immortalized in the Crystal Palace Park. In reality, these large herbivores from the... It just looks like a big iguana period were far more graceful than at first believed and were capable of moving quadrupedally or bipedally. Iguanodon. Oh no, uh -huh. Iguanodon looked very different to the Victorian interpretation. This 35-foot herbivore had smaller forelimbs and it could stand upright on its hind legs to feed from higher branches. Their most distinguishing features were their beaked mouths and thumb spikes, which they may have used to ward off predators or forage for food. While found in the UK, specimens have also been found all over Europe and its relatives worldwide. We don't want to make mummy mad. Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from Watch Mojo UK sure. and be sure to yes. subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos. Brontosaurus. Wait. Come on. I'll find the one. Classic image. Um, come on, come on, come on, come on. This one, this is what I'm thinking of right here. I don't know why I liked him. And I had a little toy of him and a Triceratops. He was my favorite. All right, cool video. Cool, 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 cool. Hope you guys are doing well. Uh, I will see you guys next video, all right? Bye, guys. Let me know if you, if you have a favorite dinosaur and if you think an elephant could kill a T-Rex, all right? Bye, guys.